All right, joining us here in the hood is Professor of Technology and Education Andy Van Dam from Brown University and distinguished scientist Anup Gupta of Microsoft Research. Going to talk with us about some exciting developments in online education. Andy, Anup, thanks for being here. Great Appreciate it. You, Chris. We're going to have Great some pleasure. fun here. We're going to learn some stuff with research and focus. We'll start with you, Anup. I understand you have something pretty cool to show us today. Tell us what Office Mix is. What Office Mix is a incredibly simple way for people to create online presentations. It basically builds on PowerPoint that a billion people use mm -hmm. to create a you know online presentation with audio, video, inking, quizzes. Uh, in a very simple way, it provides a web-based uh, experience cross-platform, and it gives you analytics on how students are interacting with what you created. Mm -hmm. So basically, it is a tremendously simple way to do all of these things that people have wanted to do. This is exciting stuff. So Anoop and Andy, everyone who's gone to college has experienced you know, the traditional lecture approach to learning. And you say that lectures aren't the best way to teach, um, which at face value, I think is intuitive because everyone, you know, the old saying, oh, quit lecturing me, right? We, we sort of even associate that name is not the best <laughs> way to learn something, right? So there are many studies that have shown that the sage on the stage model in some mm -hmm. sense is not a very effective way to learn. Uh, you know, some work that Carl Wyman has done, who is a Nobel Prize winning physicist in the science and STEM education where he's focused on, shows people get around 30% of the concepts that the professor intended for them mm -hmm. in the lecture style model. And it comes from a couple of things. One is lectures can quite easily, in many cases, become pretty passive experiences for the students, and that's not a way to learn. And the second thing is that, you know, as the professor is going, if you miss something, mm -hmm. there's no way to catch up before you, the next concept comes. So if you get lost in some place, you're maybe lost for quite a while. Sure. And probably many of our audiences here have experienced <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah, and Andy, I mean, you can talk to that. I mean, we're kind of living, I have a seven-year-old daughter and a four-year-old daughter. They don't even know what rewinding the old-fashioned way is, right? We're kind of in an on-demand world. I want it now. I want to rewind things. I want to pause things. Yeah, uh, I've been recording my lectures for much more than a decade, precisely so that students have a chance after the class is over to look at the materials mm -hmm. at their own speed and very selectively. They don't right. need to hear the whole lecture again. They just want to go to the place where they had some difficulties. And Mix gives you a really good way to do that kind of review. So you guys have proposed that blended learning is a better way of teaching uh, and so talk to us exactly about what you mean by blended learning. What well, blended learning to me uh, in a simple way means to use technology and the humans in appropriate ways. So if there's a broadcast lecture mode that you're doing, you know, you could watch that at home. And in fact, you can pepper the online lecture with a bunch of quizzes, interactive exercises, simulations, so that you know, you're experiencing, you're finding out, oh, I wasn't paying attention, let me go back and try it on again. And then the way you use the classroom time in some sense, the people together time, is to have deeper discussions, to resolve the difficulties. Mm -hmm. It's often called flipped classrooms because the notion is you watch the lecture at home and you come and do the exercises and the recitation section in the class. And now, if blended learning is arguably a more effective way of teaching, why aren't more schools doing it, you think? I think there are a couple of challenges why people aren't mm -hmm. doing it. One is, you know, there's a long, long tradition of the lecture style. It means all of us learned uh, that way, and people are used to that, and changing traditions is hard. It's also not so easy to go to the online model because so far, Creating these online lectures, lessons, incrementally updating them when you have the latest thought has been very difficult. So it is a combination of the momentum and inertia we have with the traditional mode, with the technological and the additional work that is needed uh, that I think makes it hard. Mm -hmm. And obviously this would be, this whole session would be a real downer if we didn't have some promise for overcoming the challenges, right? We're here to prove to them that it can and should be done. Explain how Office Mix helps teachers create online lessons. So what Office Mix, and we should you know, get to a demo pretty soon Absolutely. Uh, after this, what it does is it addresses the technological challenges that I mentioned before. 
It is a very powerful tool that makes it very easy to create these online lessons with interactive elements that you'll want the students to watch at home. It gives you a very easy way to share with the students, regardless of the kinds of machines or phones that they're coming with. Mm -hmm. And finally, an important part of blended learning is that the professor gets feedback to say, what did they get right? What did they not get right? And so it automatically provides you with analytics on how the students interacted, what the misconceptions were, so that, yeah, you know, you can do mm -hmm. things differently in the classroom. And we're going to jump into the demo, but Andy, as a professor, you can speak to the fact that, uh, as you sort of indicated, sometimes the biggest thing holding people back is just change. Like, I already know how to do this. I already know my lesson plans, and I've got my books. Why would I want to learn a whole new computer system, right? Is it as daunting as it would appear? Yeah, it is daunting, and most of us don't have the time or the patience the bandwidth to do it, frankly. But the thing I really find impressive about Mix is how fast you can leverage what you already know mm -hmm. how to do, which is to make PowerPoint presentations to add this enrichment material. Mm -hmm. It was essentially painless to learn how to use it, five minutes. Okay. You can't ask for more than that. And I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> watching online are saying, prove it. Prove it if it's that Do easy. the demo. <laughs> okay, us. so let's go. So the first thing is, you know, Mix is publicly available and mm -hmm. it's free of charge. That's great. So those of you who are listening online, go to mix.office.com or, you know, and you can find and see. And in fact, you'll be seeing what you're seeing. So the first part is there's a public portal okay. out here. Oh, I didn't want to go there. So let me just go back for a second. Um, uh, here. So, you know, so there's a bunch of lectures that you'll see. It's a public portal sure. where you can go and see. Then in the public portal, you already see a lot of lessons. And I want to take a couple of them and share with you there what we can do. My machine is having a little bit of difficulty actually scrolling. So this is not the one that I wanted really to nice show. Hard. So you're going to have to wait for me on the online part. Okay. That's part of the curve. We that's know. that's part <laughs> of the curve. That's just basic, simple interaction. So I want to take you to this Ohm's Law lesson that a colleague of mine at Microsoft Research created. And this will show you how inking, audio, video narration, quizzes, and some of the labs can be included. Right. So let's go there if I can click. So here we are. Uh, you know, so it's just loading. You can see it's full screen, beautiful. Inking is happening. And, uh, you know, hopefully you can see the audio and the thunderclap <laughs> yeah. and interactions that are taking place. You know, you can see out here I'm seeing the tables of content and I can go and, you know, jump around within that. So you can see I just, you know, went into a slightly different part of it and you will see inking taking place. You know, this is the 9-volt battery. You can actually speed it up in the control that you out see out here. To do that, you can embed videos inside it. So let me quickly actually jump into the next video. So, you know, to keep high schoolers or freshmen excited. So, you know, this is some fun activity. Got to put in a piece of video, sure. <laughs> okay, that is there. Now, next, what you're seeing is an interactive lab. You know, Microsoft Research has been working on this technology called Touch Develop which allows for labs to be there. So this is, you know, you want to understand the resistance. You want to see, you know, as I increase the voltage, what happens as I'm increasing the voltage. And, you know, this one is, hey, if I take it beyond 10 milliamps, then it's going to, you know, go and crash and burn. And so if I do that, you know, boom, you see the <laughs> sound. You can embed quizzes inside. So let me just take you to a embedded quiz inside. Um, so, you know, here you see a quiz that's going to pop up. And every interaction that I'm doing with Mix right now is actually getting recorded in the back end so the instructor can see how much students spend time on what portions, where did they have difficulty. They can see that I chose this as an answer and when I submitted, that's incorrect. And that, you know, I took a second try to get the answer right. So, you know, all of this information is available. Mm -hmm. I also did a quick, um, you know, lecture, which is the tour of the mix uh, capabilities. And then what I'm going to show you is create this live for you, what I just did. Wow. Okay, so we're going to go in here and uh, 
let's start watching this office mix. It's being a little slow on the... Uh, Into features of office mix. Okay, so you can see, you know, I was just recording that there are three primary components, components you know, to the video that is there. You can have authoring within PowerPoint. Uh, you know, there's a portal. So I'm going to skip around a little bit. So here we show, you know, some inking again and all of the nine different capabilities that we provide inside of Mix that people can do. Uh, and then I'm going to go and start going quizzes we have already seen. So I'm going to show you some additional things that we can do. So let me go into the next one. So here we have, if this will go across on the network a little bit, I wanted to show you, basically here we have embedded a con video mm -hmm. uh, inside uh, of our mix. And, uh, you know, so all of the standard the con Academy uh, stuff works. So I okay, I have embedded a Khan Academy exercise inside. So I'm just showing you all of the different kinds wow. of, you know, interactables and I can move these dots around and the whole thing changes. I can get a hint, these things, as another thing that I put inside. So this is from Colorado, University of Colorado. People have built some really interesting simulations. And so if I can drag these things here, I can hit go. And you can see that, you know, probably if I put two people. So again, all of this is being recorded, or I can show you one more thing, and then maybe we can uh, uh, go. So this is a Python lab. So one of the most popular languages that is there today is Python, you know, that people are trying to learn. And I can go and code, and all of the simulations here you know, are working, if I can, again, my touch is acting, you know, so all these stepping through the exercises can be done. Wow. So all this interactivity embedded inside yeah. the lessons that you create, as simple as inserting clip art. So let's go and try and create something like this. Okay, we've so, got less than a minute. You give us the quick tutorial. Okay, so basically inside PowerPoint, Mix is an add-in. And if you go to the portal again, mix.office.com, you can go and insert it. And within the mix, I have a bunch of things to record audio, video, inking, add quizzes, et cetera. So let's go into record. And this is where, um, you know, I'm going to make some of the additions. So what I'm going to do is essentially, as I was doing before, okay, I'm going to make some additions. So I'm going to go to record. And here in recording, I can say, uh, hello. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my pen here. Of course, because I told you to hurry, that's why. <laughs> you got all this pressure mounting. Okay, so, yeah. you know, I can ink out there and I can, uh, you know, I have all of my uh, animations here coming up. And as I'm doing the animations, if this was working, you will actually see my inking. Uh, working out here. So the, all of these things I can do. So right now, actually, what we will see is this video and audio is recorded. So I, here I hit the stop button. My whole touch is acting very funny. Well, that's what happens when we uh, clean yeah. your surface for you. We, we want to make it clean for TV. <laughs> so and so, you, know, so you know, the recording is there and I can preview what is there. Yeah. And you know, you can listen to what I just did and I can move them around so I can stop the preview here. And then let me close here. So well, the other thing I can do is these videos that are there, I can move them around, I can adjust them. Let me go to just a blank slide and actually show you how you add a quiz. Okay, as a basic thing. So I go to this section that I call quizzes and videos and apps. And as you will see here in the store, there is a wide variety of applications that we have that you can add. And I will just go to a multiple choice quiz here and select that to add. And, you know, let's take something like, uh, what is the nickname of Seattle, and I will not worry about my spellings right now. I'll say shuffle answers, and I can say Emerald City. I can say the Jet City because, you know, we have Boeing out oh, here. Sure. So there's a variety of, co you know, combinations I can put. And then just for the single upload button that I have out here, 
I can publish it and you will see the kinds of explanations, you know, that were there and then we can get analytics and usage. So let me brilliant stop there. Given yeah, the no, that's sure. brilliant stuff. You've shown us it's really quite yeah. as, as simple as PowerPoint, obviously much more sophisticated. I can see how students would be much more engaged and because I know we've got some online questions asking, but what about from the teacher side of it? You said you've got the analytics built yes. in. You can see the completion yes. rates, what they're focusing on, when they're stopping, yes. all that stuff, right? Yes. That's fantastic stuff. Guys, thank you, Andy and Oop. Uh, a better way to teach. Hard to deny that. Uh, where should folks watching go if they want to try out, once again, Office Mix? Mix.office.com is where they should go. And just to close, I think you might want to look at what are some additional uses, how grad students might use it. Andy? Well, for example, uh, we all give talks, and usually what we do after the talk is over is we put our PowerPoints or a PDF on the web, mm -hmm. and that's not a very good record of what you actually did. With Mix, you can get the entire live se session. You can see the annotations come up. So it provides you with a much richer record. And you can use that same style, for example. All of us practice our talks. Mm -hmm. I make all my students go through at least several of those practice talks. Well, this is a wonderful tool for, again, live recording and then together reviewing and saying, that didn't quite work, you need to fix that slide. But not on the basis of your memory, on the yeah. basis of what it yeah. remembers. Great stuff. So it's good enhancement. Well, we thank you and the teachers thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.